Hello peeps and welcome back to Parkitect. In the last episode we finished Chanute Airfield and I've noticed now that planes fly over the um, world map. It's made like a, a new addition. I wonder if that'll happen completing some of the other uh, parks. I sure do hope so. So we need to decide which park we want to play at next because look we have two options uh, which is great. I love it. We have um, this one um which is look a western look a we could we could build a western theme however i think we're going to go with this one what attracts me is the water and as you know in the last um park i was thinking i'd i'd like to um experience a bit of water in the game uh, maybe get into landscaping a little bit uh, just just a tad more um so let's look at victoria lake shall we with flat empty land and ample space for expansion the surrounding area of victoria lake lends itself perfectly for a recreational destination uh, it is your task to turn this beautiful and nature setting into a lakeside amusement park ah so making this um quite nature based and pretty rather than having any strong theme um, but being more natural, I think, is what's going to work with this, by the sounds of things. Um, have at least 300 guests in your park um, and have no loan debt. So that's the scenario, which I think um, should be absolutely fine. No problem at all. Um, but we do have three optionals here. To have at least 100 park, uh, uh, guests in your park, to have at least 200 guests in your park, and to complete um, all of these, or these two here, uh, before September year two. So we need to get 200 guests into our park um, all at the same time um, before September year two. I think that should be fine, shouldn't it? Um, not a problem. So let's, let's get started. And here we are. Um, let's see. So here's our park information, which I always like to keep up top. Uh, which is great we are going to want to charge coming into the park we'll uh, we'll build up a little bit first look how much we've got oh look uh we've already got somebody in the park we've got a little bit of uh, money here to help get us started so i think we'll do that first i suppose we could close the park. we'll just keep it paused for now maybe or shall we open it and go i don't know no no we'll, we'll have a look at what we've got first this is quite a nice entrance isn't it uh if we do just quickly look at that i like that that's nice it's very pretty. Look at the, the bennies that they've used here. So this is a nice theme to sort of keep going, isn't it, uh, throughout the park. Um, this sort of look. Keep this up and look at this. Oh, so we've got a, a park edge barrier here. Oh, look, there's a castle on the hill. Oh, that is so nice. And what I like about uh, this... Um, there's nothing here that you couldn't recreate or build yourself in the game using all the parts. Um, isn't that great? I love that. Um, good. So yeah, we do. We have this large lake um, with a path going all the way around it. Plenty of space over here, look, for rides and stuff like that. Maybe we could do something a bit more nature-based here. Um, as always, though, I do tend to like to start... Uh, with the shops and stuff like that. And I always find that having this near the gate um, it is a good good starter and ender for somebody's trip. Um, I mean, as parks get bigger, of course, we'll need to do stuff uh, deeper into the park. But for now, you know. And look, we have an incline. Uh, my first slight hill um, that I will have to contend with. Oh, so what shops have we got here today? And of course, actually... Maybe we should do the mist side because we have the staff facilities over here, look. Here they are. God, where's that path? Oh, look. <laughs> That's weird, isn't it? We can come from a car park, presumably, all the way in. It's like the staff entrance for the park. Great. Um, yeah, so we've got um, this. So we should probably do our shops maybe on this side. Um, and it might be um, that we line. In fact, I think that's where we're going to start. I'd like to line um, down each side here um, with something just to help start decorating and blocking the view of this. Here we go. This is what we've gone for. Um, 
uh, uh, I've used like this trellis effect. So I've not used this trellis before. So I thought, well, you know what? I'll have a go at using it here. Um, and I thought it'd be interesting to see because this is quite see-through. What kind of effect would it have on their view? And sure enough, um, it does. Uh, I think it it is see-through, so it helps, but it doesn't completely block their view. So it improved it, but not significantly. Of course, now I've uh, backed it with the hedge, and we have uh, greatly improved. How it looks around this area it seems a bit claustrophobic to me as well but not going to worry about that <laughs> uh, just at the moment it's possible that we could put an entrance to the food courts here as well just to break things up now i don't want this path uh, staff path i think to join uh, here j just for the moment at least i think i might just pull this back uh, for the moment um and yeah let's let's see shall we what shops do we have what what have we got going on here so we have uh, burgers, excellent. A customizable shop. Oh, that's. Look at that. We've got the counter for the shop. What does he sell? What does the customizable shop? Oh. Oh, you could make them sell anything. Um, so. Yeah, okay, great. So if you didn't want to... Oh, it's nice to finally have the umbrellas. That'll be great for when it rains. If you didn't want to use one of these pre-designed ones, you can indeed just have the counter. I thought that was a large building with three shop entries, but no, that's the actual counter. Um, ah, so you can build up however you want. Oh, that's great. That's great. We don't have masses of options here. Um, the vending machine, maintenance cost, pop can, thirst and chips. Um, okay, um, and I guess that's the rubbish that it causes. That's interesting. We get the umbrellas, park maps, um, soft drinks. Okay, so we need to um, build something up here. Now, they're enjoying this sort of crazy paving look, aren't they? Um, shall we carry that on or shall we do something different? Maybe we could do like a brick, a red brick, which is quite... I mean, it's very red, isn't it? Shall we just tr make, try... Maybe not red. Um, <laughs> maybe not red. So as you know, I like to have quite a large court area. I think we might make it a little bit smaller. Actually, do you know what we'll do? We'll pull it away from this wall a little bit so that we can refill these stalls from the back. Um, and I like the idea of having the kiosk more central um, because, of course, you can enter the kiosk in all directions so we're going to make it so they can absolutely uh, do that great um, and I definitely want um, to be able um, I'm not going to do customizable shops yet but it's good to know that we can get into it so we have here um, ooh, we might actually have to bring this path down here so we could put in our hot dogs we're going to have to get some patreon names out back in aren't we look and we can put burgers on the other side um but also soft drinks excellent now i seem to recall i ended up removing the vending machine because the vending machine had to be refilled from the front um and of course people were complaining that they were seeing the vending machine being restocked so that's a bit of an issue it's sort of put me off of it a little bit to, to be quite honest um now we definitely want umbrellas we definitely want umbrellas um and what i would say this does is give us a little bit of um growing room i think we'll remove this yeah and we should come down here oh, look at this shop though oh look it's created like a little tunnel because there was a hill there <gasps> look at that so you can build into hills oh my god oh my god so if it got deeper it would cover the top so cool right i've done that path the wrong way right we're going to come this way and then we're going to come this way like that okay good um wow okay i mean there's barely a hill here so this is seems a little overkill but it's given us an idea of what's to come um so uh now this is quite ugly oh, i know um let's not worry about it too much let's um create a zone here so we're going to have a zone here uh oh let's pause it again 
and we're going to make this a zone as well so i think we should name them um so this is going to be a uh, food court i'm pretty sure we'll have some zones in the future with some pretty interesting names um entrance there we go but this just gives us a, a better clue of what we're doing for now eh? um and i would like straight up to hire a police officer a policeman officer there they go excellent Jacqueline welcome Jacqueline uh, I'd also like an entertainer and you know what we might go with a scarecrow once again we'll uh, change to the uh, teal there um, and do you know what we'll get we'll get a shark because we have water there's a water theme happening so we're gonna get a shark for here um, excellent <laughs> excellent uh we won't worry about any more security cards but we can get them in the future now we should oh we should actually assign them as well so you're going to be food court you're going to be entrance and uh, you are going to be entrance now uh janitors we definitely need a janitor um and we've got to find a sneaky way um of ac giving them access to here without visitors really noticing don't we i think we do might have to do something back here so um we'll put the janitor in um and we're going to need a hauler um to get us started um now we also need to make this look nicer because at the moment visitors are really going to dislike the way that it looks um what other it, well, I suppose we could do like this kind of garden fencing, I guess, to hide uh, bits and bobs like this. And uh, that's a bit annoying, isn't it? Oh, look, I could have put it. I could have put it on the other side like that. Oh, look, let's do that. OK, um, yeah, let's do that. And it just helps disguise things a smidge. Now. Uh, we're going to need some bennies. So let's uh, pop a couple of those down. I'm not loving this area. Um, but it's actually... I don't want to keep using the hedges everywhere. That's my problem. I don't want to keep using the hedges everywhere. Um, uh, but trying to find a nice alternative is actually quite difficult. Let's put a couple of uh, binnies in. And they were actually using these lovely lamps as well, weren't they? Look at that. Look at that. Oh, let's go. Oh, oops, a daisies. <laughs> Did not mean to do that. I always try and right click to clear my cursor. That's what it is. Um, because in most games, that's what you would do. Um, and in this game, it doesn't work. And I can't even set it as something that happens in my key bindings. Um, and I find it immensely annoying. I'm not going to lie. Uh, now, I think what we'll do is we'll have the um, staff entrance come from over here but we don't want this to be ugly we do not want it to be ugly for guests so what we're going to do is we're going to start i think with um oh some nice paths like this so it looks like this continues like this but actually it's just so that we can get here and what we will do is put one of those signs in this is a fairly generic standard one no entry for guests. There we go. So it's staff only. Um, but then we can decorate it nice. So it looks nice when they're walking past it. But actually it just goes into the staff area. So we can see as decoration goes. It's not too bad, is it? Uh, we've managed to make this quite attractive. Um, we have managed to hide this. Um, we have some areas that they're not liking so much. But I don't think I'm going to worry about them too much. They, they'll get resolved over time. So we need to get, I think, a couple of rides in. That might be nice. Um, and uh, what rides do we have? Let's see. So we've got um, ones that I think would suit this park very nicely uh, here. Um, what have we got in terms? Oh, we've got the swinging ship uh, and the top scan. Oh, we've got some new ones. And then we've got junior coaster and a wooden coaster. I think the wooden coaster would be really great here. We have a miniature railway. 
Nice. And paddle boats. Can we build the paddle boats in here? Probably. Okay, excellent. Well, we'll start with the easy to place rides just to kick things off, get us going, right? Um, so what we might do is put a ride. Should we put one ride here or two rides here? Um, I think I might just stick one ride here. Should we go with the carousel? It's gentle. It's nice. I can uh, put it out here. Make it all lovely. Let's move this away. Uh, so, queuing system. Let's put the queuing system over here and the exit over here. Um, that'll be nice. That will be nice. Um, and, oh, there, apparently there was a setting that allows us to choose all rides to be at zero. Um, but, yeah, as a default, I think there was a default setting. Maybe it's in settings and I need to have a look at it. I'm sure somebody mentioned something like that. Okay. Um so we could there we go excellent and then the queuing system actually shall we use these do you know what maybe we will so we'll start to use the oh we need to get rid of this let's start to use these more i think now of course with rides in we're going to definitely need a mechanic absolutely need a mechanic there we go so we might just uh, start the park for a little bit um and let's i wonder who knows at this point um but there we go so it has started oh look we've got music <laughs> i've ordered for it to go on three rotations which i think is the default um yeah uh, and as you know we'll decorate things a little bit later on um hopefully we can get everything in stock here Ooh -hoo 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 exciting exciting look at the scarecrow <laughs> it's actually seriously cute i like the scarecrow look at the shark <laughs> it's pretty cool also um oh yeah so we also need to name these shops but we're going to name it after my patreon time time uh hang on i don't need to write patreon <laughs> uh, uh time information there we go after my patron uh, he gets the information kiosk as we know it is sammy soft drinks <laughs> the burger place is squeezel burgers uh, she has informed me um that squeezel burgers uh, contain absolutely 100 percent not technically beef so that's that's worth bearing in mind <laughs> but as of yet i don't think we actually have patreon names for the hot dog stand or umbrellas so that's what we are going to do today create some names uh, for them out of my patreons uh, so hot dog uh hot dogs is going to be renamed i think 007 dogs after my patreon sir 007 there we go lovely and then the umbrellas uh, my patron, uh, Blaubeer Kushan, which I think is Blueberry Muffin. But what we're going to do here, we'll keep the umbrellas and we'll name it uh, Blaubeer. So I think that would be Blueberry Umbrellas, even though they're red. Can we change the colour of them? Yes, we can. So instead of doing our teal, we might make them blue and white. We could do them blue and white, or maybe we could do them blue and teal. It'll be interesting to see be interesting to see what they look like. Right, now I had to pause this because, of course, they don't want to pay that much to come into this park. Don't blame them. There's only a carousel and, uh, and out-of-stock food. Uh, <laughs> so, you know what? Fair cop. Um, let's see. Over here, do you know what? The spiral slide might be better towards the back of the park. Um, because of its its height um, so we might actually pop this over the back here um, yeah like this um, that's what we'll do let's set this to zero um, and we will change the colors later that's what we'll do um, so we we've been deciding haven't we that we would like that I like that it changes this I like I like that 
um, and then the queuing system um, could just come down like that, right? That's nice and simple. So we have a, a second ride to get us going here. Um, now, I quite like the swinging ship. I think this is going to be perfect. Oh, look, we've got ball rushes. I think the swinging ship is going to be great for over here. Oh, look, I was thinking, I wonder if we could put it on the water. Because, well, it's a swinging ship, right? Um, yeah, that... Shall we make it... That's So the back of the ship is at the land and the front of the ship's pointing out to the water. I think we might do that. What does that look like? Oh my god, it just floats there. Look, on stilts and everything. That's great. <laughs> oh my god, I love that so much. Right, okay. <laughs> That is amazing. All right, I want to go on there now. Um, let's uh, do the usual path business. <laughs> and uh, the queuing system. Oh, come on. Everyone's going to want to go on this, right? So we might as well give it a bit of a, a longer queuing system. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. That is fantastic. Um, Ferris wheel, I think, uh, potentially could look uh, pretty good as well. Uh, looking out at the castle. So, yeah. It's a good view over there, so imagine being able to get on the ferris wheel and having a good old butchers at that castle. I think that's what we will do. We'll pop it there. So I've made it so that the, the seats actually face the, um, the castle, you know? I think, I think that's, that's nice. Now, I know there's no high intensity rides for the moment, but surely the park is a bit closer to being worth uh, what I'm asking for it at the moment. Um, so we will definitely need, oh, there you go. The park entrance is a good deal. My goodness, it started already. Um, let's try and stop that nonsense. Um, so what we will, uh, oh, look, excellent. Oh my goodness, I love that so much. Um, so I think what we will um, uh, need uh, to do is get some bennies um back here because um exhausting walk right exhausting walk it's quite the trek to get back here isn't it quite the trek um look we can make it so they can look out over the water look at that. that's nice um again we've got there's a bit of a, a trek thing happening here <laughs> Just get, you know, just get some benches down. Sorry, bennies. <laughs> I want an outrage. Uh, there we go. Excellent. I think it's going well. Hey, this is interesting. This bridge here. There we go. So we've got some uh, bennies out there. I don't think we'll need any binnies for the moment. I think that this is a pretty uh, good start uh, for this park. The entrance fee is a good deal. That's... That's okay then. Oh wow. Okay, look, it's quite a lot of people just walking straight into the park and sitting down. Interesting, interesting. Like it. Hello everyone. So we've got everything in stock here, which is great. And we're not getting too many of these, which is also great. So what's it at 25? <laughs> we'll have to get music on the other rides. I wonder what we could put on a boat ride. Maybe adventure? Oh. <laughs> it's close enough. <laughs> bull rushes coming through there. I have to get rid of those bull rushes. Oh my god. Now the ferris wheel of course is looking over this beautiful castle. So what could we do for here? Maybe we could do this medieval thing? <laughs> They're going backwards. I feel like that's a bit of a shame, but I'm pretty sure we can change that, right? No, it doesn't look like we can. Let me know if, I can, if, 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 if I've uh, made a mistake there. Let me know if I can uh, make it go that way. But maybe Ferris wheels are supposed to go back or something. Like I don't know. Kind of like them to looking at the castle, you know. Whereas down here, they've now seen the castle, 
so it's less exciting. If they're coming up here, they're anticipating seeing the castle. Then they see the castle and they think, oh yeah, and they can see it all the way down again. But this way, it's like, oh, look at the castle, it's amazing. Can I get off now? <laughs> you know, I don't know. It feels like it should go the other way. Uh, the Helter Skelter thingamajig. I can't imagine many people would want to go on that, to be honest. I don't know, they are sitting on the, on the bennies. Oh, look at them. Yeah! <laughs> Put the hands up, I love it. Um, uh, God, did you hear that person screaming? I wonder if... Oh, she put her hands away! <laughs> Excellent. Uh, what music might be appropriate for here? Street organ? Okay. <laughs> Street organ. <laughs> All this music. <laughs> Okay, how's everybody doing? I'm not paying that much. Fine, don't then. Go. Go then. Get out of here. See if we care. Leaving the park. Good riddance. <laughs> Bye then. <laughs> what if more people keep saying that? Then this person was a trendsetter and I'll hate them forever. <laughs> okay, well there we are. Um, we've kicked things off. Um, and we're going to try our best to keep this quite naturey. Um, and what we, I think, what I'd like to do is see if we. I, I'm assuming these paddle boats can actually be built on the water, so it'd be great to get one of these paddle boat rides out here. We might actually attempt to build it ourselves. I know, um, living uh, life on the edge. And then, uh, yeah, a train ride could be great a way of getting um, visitors from one end to the other. Um, you know, that could be great. And I, I really like the idea of a wooden roller coaster. Uh, being in the park, you know, maybe somewhere around here, a wooden roller coaster, you know. Um, yeah, yeah. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you to all my Patreons for their continued support.